What is good everybody? Welcome to Bowler's Paradise. My name is Ben. I'm a USBC Silver Certified Coach and today we are taking a look at the all new Hammer Envy. You know the drill. Here's the numbers on me, the ball, and how we laid it out. Before we fire up, subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell for more ball and product reviews. Got it? All right, here we go. The new Hammer Envy comes in as the highest performance piece created to date by Hammer. This release features the all new launcher core wrapped by the Envy cover stock, which was previously featured on the Obsession at a 1500 grit out of the box. Notably, the 021 intermediate differential is the most asymmetry ever featured in a Hammer bowling ball. Pairing this much core with this much cover and this much surface had me really skeptical right away. How in the world was I supposed to get this ball through the fronts and the mids without it completely burning up? That same 1500 grit finish was featured on the dark web and in my opinion it was too much. So adding another level of core performance inside this much cover really seemed unnecessary. So on the lanes I started in my normal way, just right of third arrow which is typically as far right as I can get on the house shot here at Weston Lanes. I expected the core strength of the Envy to make this AP suited best to pick up an early roll and just punish pins, but not to do much in terms of overall board coverage. But surprisingly, as I moved left, the Envy looked better and better. It definitely did what I expected to do on the outside part of the lane, using the core asymmetry to stand up and roll smooth at the end of the pattern. However, as I moved inside and found more oil, the amount of continuation through the pins was significantly better than anticipated. As long as I didn't leak the Envy into friction too early, it split the 8-9 almost every time, which is a reaction I must say I did not expect at all. Typically pieces this strong are one trick ponies for me. They're great on fresh, but as soon as some friction develops, they're done for the day. However, not with the Envy. Even getting it to near fifth arrow, it was able to get up the hill, stand up and go left, at least swishing the pins around, if not pushing them all straight back. So with that, the Envy fits an interesting place in arsenals. I think bowlers who bowl in centers that use a high volume of oil will really like the look of this piece, regardless of their type of game. Because of the great continuation I saw when the ball was clean through the middle part of the lane, I see most players being able to match up in a comfortable zone if the playing field allows it with that higher volume of oil. I also think for the higher rev players, this might be one of the best solid ASIMs for their bag. It's got a little bit more down lane kick than a Roto Grip Gem, it's just as strong as the Deviate Hellcat in overall hook potential, and it's easy through the fronts like the Brunswick Defender. It's got a lot of great features that open up a world of possibilities for higher rev players that are typically locked into the mid performance balls in their arsenal, as you'll be able to open up the lane and still use a strong piece like this on both house and sport conditions. The all new Hammer Envy introduces a new level of performance to the Hammer brand, and with this much versatility in a top of the line bowling ball, your competition is sure to be envious of the scores you're going to put up. And you can pick this up today and much more at bowlersparadise.com. Be sure to use the discount code YouTube at checkout for free shipping. Big shout out to the guys at Striking Edge Pro Shop for laying out this piece and drilling it for me as well, and to Dale's Weston Lanes for letting us film this video. If you haven't yet, smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell for more ball and product reviews. And as always, you guys remember, having the right ball in your hands, now that's a bowler's paradise. Peace.